Hello and welcome to this new episode of NI's ADAS and AD Stories. My name is Daniel. I'm the solutions marketer here at NI focused on ADAS and autonomous drive test validation. And today I have uh, Tanya with me. Welcome, Tanya. Hello, Daniel. Tanya, please introduce yourself real quick. Yeah, I'm uh, an applications engineer at NI in Munich, and I'm working mostly on the hill environments together with ADAS um, simulation environments like Virus VTD. Okay, Tanya, can you tell us a little bit more about uh, what you brought with you today and what you're currently working on? Yeah, for sure. So in this video, I'm showing you how we bring together the ADAS simulation environment Virus VTD together with our hill tool and I very stand and um, in this case we are controlling the simulation from virus VTD over an virus stand so we are not only starting and stopping the simulation and do all the kind of simulation control but we are also able to um, gather data in real time from the system and also to make driving commands over the interface from an virus stand to virus VTD okay Cool. So, um, Tanya, you already mentioned, so this is predominantly about uh, hardware in the loop testing. So I think that's clear also why this is important uh, within the automotive industry. Um, so can you give us a little bit of an overview how the system setup uh, looks like and who is doing what? Okay. Yeah, so for sure. So we have a Linux machine, um, a Ubuntu machine, which is running Virus VTD. And Virus VTD is the ADA simulation environment. So there we have a test case where a driving a car is driving uh, around and is gathering um, simulated radar sensor data or camera sensor data, depending on what you want. And NI Varys then is initiating the simulation, so is starting, stopping the in, uh, simulation, is also setting a specific scenario or a specific user selectable command, depending on what you're setting up in NI Varys then. And during the simulation run, an very stand is receiving data, like for instance, the current position, the current speed, and so on. And you also can take over the control and say, okay, with a certain validity flag that you now want to take driving commands, like you want to brake or you want to steer the car on your own, or you want to set a specific velocity. Very nice. And typically what we would also have is then through very stand, we would interface with uh, our dedicated IO and therefore talk to the actual ECU that would be running uh, the control algorithm. Yeah, exactly. So basically over very stand and the real time PXI system, we would then transfer um, the simulated IO data to the ECU, which is running the ADAS algorithm in order to test the algorithm on the ECU. Very good. Okay, uh, Tanya. Can you show us now what we can see within the demo? Yeah, for sure. So what we can see in the demo is first of all virus VTD running, and then we switch over to an very stand where we are, um, first of all, control the simulation itself. So we are starting a certain test run and we can also change a certain scenario. And then later on in the simulation uh, or in parallel to this, you see that we already get real time data from the system. And um, then you can also see that we are doing a certain command where we are setting uh, the braking of the car and we will see back in virus VTD that the car is actually stopping um, in the scenario. Wow, this really looks good. Uh, thanks, Tanya, for another great demo and an overview that you just provided uh, to all of us. Um, for everybody, please uh, feel free to leave your comments uh, down below um, and uh, make sure that we can uh, work on the feedback that you have around this uh, demonstration as well. Um, you can also uh, ping me via email or uh, find me on LinkedIn if you want to have follow-up discussions. Um, really looking forward to see you next time on uh, our next episode of NI's ADAS and AD News.